मी क्लास घ्यायलो अरे बापरे हॅलो सो कॅन यू सी माय स्क्रीन now can you able to see my screen yes yes yeah. okay. can you able to see yeah can i max my sir no from starting out to show me that sir okay. file okay so what we need what we need to do is so just open this xilinx okay so after opening mm. here you are having a new project okay yeah got it so what we need to do except our c folder local folder we need to have another drive okay so like mm. d drive e drive okay so mm. you can see now i am having uh, yesterday i was not having those one okay c drive only c drive was there then okay so mm -hmm. e drive i have taken okay so what we need to do we need to means like create our project on that drive okay so e drive okay and give okay. your name so whatever the project name is there okay so here i have already given so like in e drive uart i have already given okay so what we need okay. to do then after after taking your projects just simply click here in this area okay in this area simply okay. click here okay so anywhere in this area okay so okay. add copy of source you will get option okay so these are all our codes okay uh, some of them are not necessary okay some of them uh, are uh, dummy codes also okay so but you just take it i will let you know which one is uh, important for you okay so we need to like control a and open that's it okay we know we need to open all the files so when okay. one, uh, when we open all the files you will be getting something like this in this area okay so okay okay hierarchy it is getting no hierarchy okay so now in that we are having these one uart top okay so this is our yeah. grid okay so uart top in that you are having uart transmitter uart receiver okay so yeah. can you see this okay yes sir yes, yes. this one we cannot zoom i think so ha ah, okay okay i am able to see ah, okay so now what we need to do whenever we are writing the code okay so we start with our module okay so this is the module okay so uart transmitter so this is our transmitter code okay so now what are the inputs in that so what we need so we need a system clock we need a reset we need a data of 8 bits okay then next uh, input transistor enable okay so means like it is uh, giving a enable signal okay then next what are our outputs serial output okay then next clock 
and then next busy busy in the sense if it is a if any device is a busy so then next done then next is receiving it okay yeah. huh? dividing our frequency with the help of 65 64 megahertz okay 64 is 64 megahertz one second <coughs> then next we are using a parity that is of xor of database okay so what is xor of database i will let you then next we are using some temporary variables okay so as we are using temporary variables those are like load and shift okay. so it depends whenever we write the code uh, means like uh, uh, depending upon the uh, condition of our design so we will take the different different temporary variables so we need to give it a wire okay so temporary variables should be in a wire and then next count i said why need why we need to take a count also okay so count also we need to take a temporary variable so that is y okay so the next here if you can see tx fsm means transmitter fsm okay so how it is going on so like uh, it is another port sub module okay so we need to see that port okay so in that clock reset trans uh, transmitter enable is the <coughs> Input. Sir, just, just, a just a second, just a second, sir. All this coding they will ask. Huh? No, no, they won't ask you, but it's my duty to explain you. That's it. So, no, no, that's no, I am asking you because no, all a lot of things are there which are yeah, which are unable to understand actually. You need to give what outputs uh, uh, you are uh, taking from that. They will ask. So simply, if you see here, one second, I will show you what is the input and what is the output you will get from here okay so right click set a stop module click yes go for the set size read and all okay message like completed successfully okay so then next what we need to do just expand this here plus option is there okay so we can expand here so view rtl schematic rerun the reason just click ok and here you will getting like a uh, uart transmitter add and just you go for the schematic so now you got the block diagram okay so what inputs you are giving and what outputs you are getting okay so these thing they will ask you got it okay so okay. if you again click inside inside this box okay so internal modules whatever you are using so it will show show it okay so what you are using uh, data uh, reduce xor gate so that is a parity then next frequency division then next transmitter fsm then next uh, parallel in serial out so you are using these things okay so 
so <laughs> again if you click inside that if any circuit is present inside the uh, another box again it will show you so it will expand till the sub modules okay till the sub modules it will show okay so then next you have to show this if they ask you okay that's it they won't ask you code okay because they need the how input is going and how outputs are getting that's it okay now if you go for the execution part here just click on this one and then next to here you can see the radio implementation and simulation so where uh, one code is mount over there can you see yeah yes sir. there is a implementation there is a simulation so for execution okay. you have to go for the simulation okay and simulation yeah. so what we need uart transmitter so just go for the okay. isim simulator is there okay just Yeah. Simulate behavior model. Okay. Right click and rerun. We need to go to simulation. After that, uh, transmitter. You have the transmitter. Yeah. You have the transmitter. Then next, here you find I sim simulator. Okay. So just expand. Okay. That. So if you expand this, you are getting the options like simulate simulate behavior, behavior model. Okay. Then you will be getting another window, okay, in this, uh, in this type, okay. So yeah. you can see more. Okay. The next we are getting the system clock, reset, data, transmitter, and these are our inputs, okay. Yeah. So blue color wires are our input. So whatever it is showing blue colors here, those are our inputs. and these are red colors are outputs and temporary variables okay okay so here cl out is only our output and whatever the red color it is showing so those are some of them are temporary variables also okay so how we need to start with system clock so right click okay here you are getting the option called force clock just go for that yeah. so here leading edge so that is one Telling edge that is zero and period one microsecond. Okay. Yeah. Then next reset. Force constant reset one. Always we need to use reset one. Then next what the data you are giving here? So data we will see here one zero one one zero one zero one something. Like that. Okay. Then we transmitter enable. Okay. First of all, we will do transmitter enable as a. Okay. Uh, we will see. We will do one instead. We will see the code once how the transmitter enable will work. So. Okay. Okay. So transmit one. And transmitter enable zero. So then, okay. So first of all, we need to do transmitter enable as a zero. Okay. Zero means sir. Zero one zero. See, there are two two things. One and zero. One yeah, one and zero, sir. Enable as zero is disable. Okay, that's it. Okay. So then next, what we need to do? We just need to do. run okay so you can see uh, i am just uh, hovering my mouse on that okay so run for the time specified on the toolbar okay so then you have to need to click there okay so once okay. you you will be getting like this okay can you see some of them are green colors now okay yeah still our we won't get output right now itself okay so for the zoom to full view so, i'm zooming out okay so all we need to do some zooms okay so, uh, zooming uh, zooming in zooming out okay so to see the output okay then next what we need to uh, what we need to do again need to set up uh, for one reset okay so we need yeah. to take out our reset as a zero okay and the next is transmitter enable 
We need to give data also, I think, sir. No data, I will give any. Okay, one Clock, is it any? Is it is uh, one and uh, zero. Changes you can see here, okay? There is something change, okay? Sir, so now we are, we are observing only output, SR output, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What is that, so sir? SR output? How we'll get that? That we need to do, okay? That we need to see here, okay? What is? So now you can see here how it is going on. No, no, no. What is SR output, sir? Serial output. That is. Serial. Yeah. Okay. So serial output. The next. Your force constant reset one. We'll let you another time also. Don't worry. Okay. <clears throat> then next two. Zero. So the serial output is working. Okay. There should be line, has it? Yeah. Still line. We need to see which uh, input is going on for this sub module, okay? So it is like clock is going on, uh, okay. So just for now, what we do, uh, we'll take out this system clock, okay? We'll give only clock, okay, as an input, okay? So just Without reset and data, say? No, no, no. So mm -hmm. there is a uh, system clock and normal clock, okay? So what, okay. what that it means, I will let you know, I mean, that system clock. Okay, so system clock and this clock, okay, so what it is doing, it is dividing that clock, okay, some, uh, like, uh, suppose I, I am having a clock signal, uh, we need to divide it by 4, okay, so how it will do, suppose I will take paint, okay, so then you can easily understand from that, otherwise, it is not able to. This totally clumsy, clumsy, sir. So, VLSI it is a... Yeah. Consider this as a system clock. System clock. Okay. okay. And I need another clock which is dividing it. Okay. 
another <coughs> clock which is divided. So if I need, if I am taking a clock divide, system clock divided by two, system clock divided by two. So what it happens? It will take, okay? These will take two clock periods, okay? One, yeah. two, okay? So these will be something like this. So system clock two clock periods will be one clock period for this clock. Okay, got it? Are you getting it? System clock, if it completes two clocks here, so it will complete one clock itself. What system is? clock equals to two clocks, right, sir? Ah, yeah. Okay. So hmm. when it completes two complete periods, okay, two clock periods, then these clock, new clock will complete only one period. Okay. So this is system clock divided by two. If it is divided by four, if it is divided by four, then it will like completes four clocks. Okay. Then it will get one clock, complete one. Got it? No, sir. Can you, Can you see the screen? Hello. 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 Yeah, yes, sir. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Yeah. Very small or? Yes, sir. Small screen. Mm -hmm. One second, I will see. Now? Somewhat better, right? Yeah. 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 So consider this is the system flow. That is the system flow. System flow. Okay, sir. Now, what we need to do is system clock divided by 2. System clock divided by 2. So, what happens? See here. This is one clock period. Okay? Hmm. If something from here to here, it is one clock period. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Another clock period. Yeah. What is it? So now, yes. system clock, two clock periods are from here to here. I take another clock, okay? So that we can have two clock periods, okay? Now, what yeah. we are doing here, we are taking another thing, that is the two clock, system clock divided by two. So, 
Now, it completes one clock, it will complete one clock phase for these two clocks. Okay? Got it? Yeah. Got it? Yes, sir. So, another, now, again, it will be in continuous form. So, these two counts, okay, it will be one count here. For right now, just keep your system clock idle and can you see my screen now? Laptop screen? Yeah, yeah, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Keep the system clock as it is. Okay. So take this clock as an input. Consider this clock as an input for now. Okay. Got it? So what we need to do again. So we'll just change it. Okay. So here there is an option called uh, relaunch. Okay. We are relaunching it. Okay. So it is again coming from the starting. Okay. So take this clock, force clock, one, zero, one microsecond time period. Okay. One microsecond is the time period. Then next. Then next. Your reset. First of all, your reset should be one. The next data. So give some data. So you can give any random data. So I'm giving one zero one one zero one zero one. I'm giving something like this. Apply, click OK. The next transmitter enable. So you need to give zero here. So idle condition. Transmitter enable is zero first of all. Okay. The next will start our run. Okay. See, there is a start. Okay. So start has been done. Okay. So now you can see there is a busy, there is a done option. Okay. 
so you can see these options are there okay <coughs> so next thing give reset force constant zero and uh, where is the transmitter enable transmitter enable force constant one okay we are starting our design to work okay see here this is the serial out if you can see there are some changes in the serial out okay it means it is working okay so so then when you need to run okay so up to when you need to run you need to run when you get done is equal to one okay so just run here One zero one one. So one zero one one. Okay. So that we need to get in the order serial output. Okay. So one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, here it is getting one. Then next one zero. Then next one zero. Okay. One zero one. Okay. Uh, one zero one one. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 It will get from LSB to MSB. Okay, so one zero one zero means like uh, reverse order. Okay, so one zero one zero. Then next one one. Then next zero one. Got it? So now you are getting your data output. Can you see this? Or can I yes. Any, uh, no, I can say I can see, sir. So this is our output. Okay. Once we get the output, after some few clocks, okay. So BZ, okay. BZ it is getting zero. Zero in the sense now it is. This is having nothing. Okay. So till that, till it working condition. So BZ was one. You can see BZ was one. Okay. Means yeah. a device was busy and it was in working condition. Okay. But once we get all these one zero one one data, okay, so eight bits of data, so it stopped. But it, okay. Yeah. So we need to stop uh, uh, when it uh, when busy reaches value one, right, sir? No, busy reaches zero. Okay. Zero. So one busy equals to one in the sense it is working. Busy equals to okay. zero. It is stopped. Okay. What is? Hmm. Can I write? Here. No, this is okay, sir. But uh, you entered inputs now, sir. That values I'm getting confusing there. Easy equals to one in the sense it is working correct. Easy equals to zero. It stops. Ah, yeah. Tell me what. Okay. So I entered some inputs. Those are your. Uh, those are your confusion. Okay. So see here, th there are some inputs we need to view, okay, by the help of right click force constant, okay. Yeah, so, always need to set a system clock as one. No, 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 reset. No, no, above, I'm asking right. about system so clock. Don't worry about system clock, okay, you just put it as an idle, okay. So don't worry about uh, system clock. 
just take okay first yeah. for any device first of all we need to do reset okay so how yeah. do you do the reset so we are taking reset as one okay so re if reset is equal to one your design okay your design is getting reset okay Yeah. So this is the input you need to do for the first time. Whenever you are starting your running, okay, simulations, okay. Then mm -hmm. next, along with that, there is another option called transmitter enable. So this thing you need to do as a zero because we didn't have any enable first of all, okay. Mm -hmm. So if we are coming into any room, so. Uh, Suppose a fan is there, okay. So it is not in a working condition, okay. When we yeah. enable, okay, then it will work, okay. So for that, yeah. these are the ideal conditions. First of all, okay. So we okay. need to give. Okay. Reset first one. Transmitter enable equals to zero. Okay. So then next yeah. thing, after you run these, okay, after it gets the reset, okay, after it yeah. uh, start to design the ideal state, okay, then you need to give reset as zero. Okay. And then next, transmitter enable as one. Now it yeah. will start working. Your design will start working. Okay, it will start working. The next thing. So there is a option for this. So that is force talk. For these type of inputs, you need to take force constant. Okay, I will write here. Okay. And I will send you this force constant. Okay. And for here, force clock. Force clock. We are having leading edge. Leading edge one. And trailing edge is zero. Trailing edge zero. Okay. And okay, clock period. So every clock it is having some period. Okay. That period is yeah, one, one microsecond. I am setting. I am giving the setup over. Okay. So one microsecond leading edge one, trailing edge zero. Okay. So then next your clock will start working. Okay. So, one second. First of all, you need to give this one. Okay. Next, you need to give this clock. Then, after the run, after one two runs, okay. After two run, you need to give below in. You need to give yeah. what are your below inputs? These are your below inputs. Okay. Reset zero. Transmitter enable one. Okay. Now along with that, so you need to give data also. Okay. So data will yeah. be of eight bits, and it is given in this format: seven down to zero, MSB to LSB. Okay. Now this thing you need to give any random number. It's eight yeah. bits. I am given here one zero one zero one one. Zero one. Okay. So whenever it will come in the serial order, it will come in the reverse order. Okay. One zero one one zero one zero one. So this is the output you are getting the serial serial output. Okay. okay. Did you got it now? Yes, sir. So this one I will send you. Okay. So okay. the same thing we got there. Okay. Here. Yeah.
next okay so next one we are having uart receiver now how it will receive okay again you need to synthesize this one okay so go for the implementation uart receiver the next set as top module click as so only this uart top module is our uh, project code okay remaining are some of the are done for i have used that so synthesize hst no need to go to simulation first no, first of all we need to synthesize okay means what we are doing there sir we need to see the block diagram what are our inputs and outputs mm -hmm. so before i have shown you know so like yeah ah, so that we need to do first of all so i need to check only you are the top and so i will send you the mm -hmm. link without any confusion okay okay so uh, run is completed okay now what you need to do view rdl schematic add we are to see what create schematic so you are now these are the inputs and these are your outputs okay they are okay the and valid okay so enable receive serial data uh, system so these are your inputs If again, if you click inside, now you will be getting like you know, inside modules, whatever process. Okay, so inside okay. module it is having CPO, then next FSM, then next uh, serial data. Okay, this thing it is having inside. Now, after that, once you see this, uh, you need to go for the UART receive simulation. Now, uh, again, simulate behavior model. now there is a system clock and uh, all those things okay once we see uh, if it is working with system clock or uh, whether it is working with the normal clock okay. so receiver that is working with the normal clock okay you can see here rx fsm so these clock it is entering as a input over here okay so Our UART receiver. You can see here which module it is running over here. Okay, so yeah. So I'm taking a clock, force clock, leading edge one, trailing edge zero, and period one microsecond. And then next. So same thing we said. Zero. First of all, reset one. Okay. Okay. Force constant zero. Okay. Now data out you are getting here, and serial data. Now you need to give the serial data. So what is the serial output you got from here? One zero one one. Yeah. Okay. So you are getting, uh, in that way, no? So here we have it yeah. already. One zero one one zero one zero one. Okay, so yeah. these we need to give. In so where? So in the U R D. So U R D receiver. Serial output. First of all, we are having force constant one. Okay. Then next. Now just simply run all. are red color so you know no, no need to force the values so only blue color wires you need to force over that okay so now it has been started something okay okay 
simply just give two runs okay yeah two runs i have given zoom uh, do some zoom adjustments okay then next give the reset force constant zero okay and enable force constant one now run here okay now one second oh yeah you have done the run okay so serial data serial data one zero next one is zero okay run here <laughs> data here randomly okay serial data one zero one one something one 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 some issue in giving the serial data so don't worry but that whatever we will get uh, give the serial data we will get as an output so the next thing one Why every time we need to give one zero one? So we need to give one by one. Okay. So parallelly, it means we need to give all at a time. Okay. Now we need to see. See here, B B Z is one. Okay. So till zero, till zero, we need to run it. So now B Z, whether it is getting. Yeah, now it became before it is zero. So, so it means see here, here you are getting all outputs are zero, okay, and before that, okay, so before that you will getting zero one zero triple one zero. So by giving like one by one bit, so I made some mistake. So this was the data I have given over there, okay. So now I am getting that. Serial data as a output. Okay, got it. So, if you are, uh, if you don't want any um, type of mistakes like uh, giving serial data mistakes, okay. So what you need to do, you need to uh, connect to, uh, or merge UART transmitter and UART receiver in one module. Okay. So I have done that merge also. You just see. Okay. So here you will get the output as a parallel. Okay. so all the bits at a time all the bits at a time and we are giving inputs in a serial format one by one okay so output you are getting in the all the like all the bits at a time got it so now what we need to do we need to merge because giving serial data is very much complex okay so we need to do, do it like uh, compiler needs to do it okay so if we give it manually we will fail okay we will get fail so just close this or simple you can uh, take a snap of this of your data i'm just taking a snap i'm closing this one also you are the transfer one so you are at the top can you see it you are at the top yeah yes sir Given UART talk, in that I have merged UART transmitter, UART receiver. Okay. So in that I am giving some clock. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, uh, whatever I am giving the output. Okay. The D frame is going as the input over there, and then next we are getting the 
uh, output from there itself. Okay, data out. Data out is eight bits output. So there you can Yes, sir. So definitely they will ask all this execution as sir. They won't ask this much, okay. So but no, no, not uh, only this, sir. The output you shown are just uh, by giving reset value and uh, enable like zero. Sometimes, okay. So sometimes, ninety percent they won't ask you because they also don't know how how it works. Okay, they also mm -hmm. don't know. What it? Okay, execution part and all are a little bit confusing yeah, to me, sir. So they, they also don't know how it is executing. So if you just show them like UART transmitter also, it will work. Not an issue. Okay. Yeah, just now you said like a separate transmitter and receiver is shown. After that, you said like, no, it is no need like that you don't know. So let me know which one I need to show to them. UART transmitter is enough. Okay. Transmitter. Then they will ask if they ask about the receiver side. Won't ask. See, for this is like showing like execution. It will take ten to fifteen minutes. No one will bear like ten minutes of time. Okay, like they they won't have that much of time for for one person. Okay. From my experience, I'm saying because I I know. Okay. So next. As my duty, I will let you know all those things. Okay, so that is not an issue. Okay, but for your confusion, for your whatever your confusion you are having, you just run this. Otherwise, I will give another thing. You just run it, you will get output. Okay. You yeah, you just uh, just you said like I will you, that you merged both transmitter and receiver. You said, now, sir. You just to show that another one, sir. Another way. So I will just do that. Okay, whether it is. Uh, I have already done it or no? I don't know. Just let me see whether it is there or not. No, uh, 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 you are also getting confusion here. Then how can I show the execution there, sir? That is my uh, doubt here, actually. Because the interviewer also don't know anything as you said. So uh, it should be the easiest way so that I can manage them by showing the execution part. Okay, so zooming, zoom out. Okay, so 
so just <coughs> go for this zoom to full view okay now you are getting something okay now whenever it yeah. is having some binary data so 0000 it is a binary data you change that binary data yeah. so just like see control a it will select all the lines radix you need to find radix where it is having radix exactly okay got it so now yeah. what it will do it it is going to run okay so like now now another one point see the whatever the below here you are getting that are your inputs okay so data this one is your inputs okay so system clock is set data and these these one are your inputs and whatever it is showing at the upside that are your outputs what it okay <coughs> so it will show in the reverse order <coughs> then you got like first of all you got inputs and then next you got outputs yeah but here it is a reverse outputs after that yeah. outputs so now again you need to just run here okay adjust your zoom okay so i'm uh, zooming in zooming out okay so just run here no i need to get serial out sorry data out yeah okay so see what is your data you have given b2 okay that it needs to reflect yeah. over in this data output okay so after few operations yeah. or after few clock periods few or um, what we can say some clock periods okay so here you just see here we are getting our output okay that is b2 okay got it so mm -hmm. yeah. can you see so then after when you get the output your bz okay immediately your bz is getting zero can you see i will show you yeah now you don't need to worry about all the inputs giving inputs and outputs you need to work on zooming in uh, and just a run button that's it okay zoom out and run yeah. so b2 is your sir that a data input b2 how it came sir automatically you have given that value no okay. i have merged uart transmitter and receiver okay so you just see here mm -hmm. implementation go for the implementation go for the uart top okay right click mm -hmm. and do as a set as top module i will show you that one okay how it is done then next synthesize it okay yeah all this coding has been done by you now sir yes 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 so sometimes we will get confused because we are having different different things also no so yeah just get forget what we have done there okay okay
So, is there any valid and disease there? So, valid. So again, we, we are going to synthesize. There was some error in writing that uh, uh, ports. OK. See, it will show error if it is like small letter and capital letter also. Yeah, okay, case and still with that, sir. Here, semicolon it is not given. Okay, so completed successfully. Now, when you see here, you are getting some delay. Okay, so that is uh, after that clock and before the clock you will be getting. Okay, so this is the clock period and these are the um, compilation frequency it is showing. Okay, so then next RTL schematic. Click OK. Add. We are the top schematic. So now this is the top module okay, for UART and if you click inside, now you can see here, see UART transmitter, UART receiver, okay. Can you see this? Yeah. See here. Yes. Yeah. These serial data, okay, this serial output, it is going, see serial output is In going to the receiver. serial data. I, sorry. Yeah. Hello. You are saying something? Ah, yes, sir. That serial out is going as input to the transmitter receiver. So now, at last, you are getting this output here. Okay. So this is what we are showing. Okay. Here, okay. So in just one click, you don't need. So now, whatever the input we have given. Huh? Tell me, tell me. Yeah, whatever the input we have given at the transmitter, the same thing will be yeah, we'll uh, uh, we will get at the uh, receiver output. So, and the internal mm -hmm. it is having this uh, serial output and serial uh, data. Okay, so this is uh, all this is uh, doing in the internal part. Okay, now how it is doing in the internal okay. part? If you double click on this again, it will show what is UART transmitter it is having. Okay, see, yeah, it's having. Serial okay, parallel input serial output. So, see here you are getting your serial output. Okay, yes, Got it. So, now these serial output it is going as a input serial input or serial data to the UART receiver side. Okay, see here it is going. Got it. Yeah. Then, next double click on that. Yeah. Okay, these serial data. So, where is that serial data? Go for there. <laughs> See here, this serial data, it is going for the CPO. 
serial input parallel output okay means it is taking input serially uh, serially in the ser serial manner and giving it in a parallel okay so that is your final output so that final output we can see here so we are giving the b2 as a input and at last finally we are getting here output okay what is okay so this is how it yeah. will work so you need to do just zooming in zooming out and then next uh, Two or three times. Yeah. Okay, so you will be getting the output. What is so? This is for test bench. Mostly they will ask you test bench. Okay. Test bench. Yeah, test bench. Okay. What is test bench in the sense you don't need to give any inputs over there. Okay. So in the code itself we will give inputs. Okay. Like I will okay. how it is also. And in implementation, you can see radio button implementation. In implementation, you won't find any test bench. You need to go for the simulation. Okay. So okay. in simulation, you find here uh, test bench is there. Okay. How we have given okay. inputs. Okay. So where is the test bench? Uh, C T B top Q A R. Okay. C. We have given our inputs here itself. So reset okay. is zero. Transmitter enable is one. Okay. Reset is one. Uh, reset is zero. We have given here itself. Okay, so here we have given data also. Data, uh, data after some time, uh, and we have given some gap in between. So time gap we have given. Okay, so data, data, data. Okay, so can you see? Yes. You can see. Uh, so how you uh, you are saying time gap here? Two thousand eight hundred is there again. Two thousand eight hundred is there. Okay, so these two thousand eight hundred. Add with this 2,800. Okay, so means 5,600. Okay, so it is working on the 5,600. Again, it will add 2,800. So what it multiples of 2,800? Yeah. Means same gap. Okay. Okay. So you need to just run this TB top UART, and you you find this in the simulation itself. You won't find this in the implementation. Okay. If you are finding test bench in the implementation, you will never get. Okay, it won't reflect uh, reflects over here. Okay, so it will reflect the simulation. Got it? Yeah. Now it's clear. Yeah. Don't Some need to words run, are uh, separately. Okay, you need to run test bench itself. You just say them. So I am having the test bench, and uh, if they are asking you to explain how it is working, so uh, go for the RDL schematic, whatever I have shown you here. These are the schematic, and now I'll show them how it is working. Got it? It is the simplest method to explain. Okay. So this is the schematic uh, you can have uh, in your PPT or something. Is it open? Mm, okay, sir. Okay, but not completely. Okay. Doubts means in the sense, sir. Can you uh, know? Actually, uh, yesterday no. I downloaded that uh, virtual box. Okay. Okay. Can you take control and so that I can uh, practice now? Whatever you said just now. One second. So you have Xilinx. Xilinx. Yeah. 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 Yeah.